Have you ever met someone for the first time and found out you've met them before? It's embarrassing, but it proves that some people stand out and others don't. A strong personality helps you gain the trust of others and gives you greater influence. It's true that people with strong personalities stand out, but that doesn't mean you have to be loud and bold to have a strong personality. Fortunately, like fine wine, strong personalities can develop over time. This video explains what influences our personality and what a strong character looks like. Here are 5 things you can do to develop your personality, using examples. Me. What influences our character? Our personality plays a big role in our lives. We are shaped by our environment and experiences from birth. We acquire certain traits through the way our parents raise us. We discover our likes and dislikes through school and challenges. Think of life as a set of building blocks. Every interaction we have with others builds our character. Every adventure and experience we go through affects our personality. Our personalities are constantly evolving. In fact, we often hear people refer to the most difficult times in their lives as character building. Scientists have long debated whether our behavior is most influenced by our genes, nature, or our environment, care. It is now widely accepted that nature and nurture influence our existence. Let's see what a strong personality is. Think for a moment about someone you consider to be a strong character. How are you? How did they meet? What do you notice most about them? When we think of people with strong personalities, we think of friendly people. I think I am a person who can adapt to my communication style. A person with charisma and pleasant energy comes to mind. Last but not least, I have a strong personality combined with authenticity and knowledge. People with strong personalities are confident but not arrogant. You are optimistic and realistic at the same time. They take full responsibility for their actions and admit their mistakes. A person with a strong personality has many qualities. I don't think all people with strong personalities have the same traits. However, I am convinced that anyone with a strong personality has these five traits. Confidence. Sympathy. Be humble. Majesty. High self-confidence. I have a strong personality that is often commented on by friends and colleagues. Perhaps my strongest trait out of the five above is empathy. My weakness right now is self-esteem. I am working on it. What about you? Do you have any of these traits? If not, maybe this is an area you can work on. We have created video on building self-confidence. You can watch it later and one I find particularly useful on boosting your self-esteem. Benefits of a strong personality. The benefits of having a strong personality impact our relationships, our personal lives, and our careers. Due to their reliability and tenacity, people with strong personalities are often well respected by their boss and colleagues at work. This may lead to greater opportunities including promotion and pay increases. It also puts them in a strong position for job interviews as they usually perform well. In general, people with strong personalities are sought after socially. Their peers find their energy and optimism contagious, and they like being around them. This makes them particularly popular. Ultimately, people with a strong personality have the ability to build strong social connections. 5 Tips for Developing a Strong Personality A strong personality seems to be conducive to a happy and prosperous life. The good news is that our personalities are not static and we can take steps to achieve a stronger character. Here are 5 ways to develop your personality. 1. Develop non-verbal communication skills. Our communication skills include verbal, non-verbal and written communication. How you interact with others matters. This video focuses on non-verbal communication. This includes facial expressions, gestures, eye contact, body language and posture, paralinguistics, proxemics, appearance, Imagine you are attending a work event with this list of non-verbal communications. At this event you will be introduced to new people. How to show strong personality. Consider these tips to make non-verbal communication easier. Allow your facial expressions to support what you are saying. Show interest, surprise, enthusiasm, and engagement through facial expressions. Use your hands freely to express your speech. Always look people in the eye when you talk to them. But don't stare. Healthy eye contact shows confidence and shows interest. Stand straight and face your partner. Pay attention to your tone of voice and volume. Do you agree? Don't get too close. 
There is such a thing as personal space. Dress appropriately for the occasion. Nonverbal communication is very important. We convey many messages without using words. In fact, scientists estimate that his 70% to 93% of all communication is nonverbal. We often state our opinions about others before they speak. People of good character are likable. If you can't communicate, no one will get to know you. Our true selves are said to be hidden behind our tongues. People judge us by how we communicate. To build good relationships with the people around you, you need to hone your social skills. Use positive gestures, communicate with everyone, and never project negative vibes. Learn how people want to be treated. What they want to hear and what they don't want to hear. Don't say what the other person doesn't like. Just speak according to the understanding of others. Good social skills make people perceive you as a strong personality. Be a good audience. All men and women need someone who will listen to them. I don't need your advice, experience or guidance. They just need you to listen to them. This situation does not necessarily have to be sentimental. Get into the habit of listening to regular conversations. Don't talk too much it can make you look arrogant. Instead, listen carefully to what others have to say. They will automatically start liking you. 2. Increase your knowledge and skill set. I admire people who have a vast depth of knowledge on a particular subject. Specifically, I love hearing them talk with passion and confidence. I'm in awe of people who are students of life and always appear to be learning something. Whether it is teaching themselves to play guitar or embarking upon a diploma in a topic of interest. These people have a real focus, determination, and zest. These people all have strong personalities. When we embrace learning in later life, we are both broadening our horizons and developing ourselves as a person. This promotes positive change and growth. The more knowledgeable and skilled we are, the more competent we are. 3. Remain curious. When we are curious, we are open to learning new things and to positive change. Here are a few simple ways you can be more curious in your daily life. Try new things. Taste new foods. Watch different genres of films. Read a book on a topic you know nothing about. Learn about different cultures. Consider life from the perspective of another. Break old routines and habits. Our curiosity feeds into a growth mindset. Someone with a growth mindset is often both interesting to other people and interested in other people. This is a sign of someone with a strong personality. 4. Know your personal values. A person with a strong personality knows their personal values. Do you know yours? This can be summed up as knowing what is important to us. Among other things, I value. Thoughtful friendships. Loyalty. Honesty. Kindness. Vulnerability. Living a cruelty-free life. Good conversation. So I arrange my space to ensure I live in tune with these values. Whilst there is wriggle room, I have learned the hard way not to compromise too much on my core values. I know how important these values are to me. Perhaps my commitment to my values is why others see me as someone with a strong sense of self. Start taking care of yourself. You shouldn't be doing anything for others. If you live on others' approval, it makes you their slave. You will never be able to please everyone. Love yourself and take care of you. But not for others, just for you. When you start listening to yourself, you will discover who you are and what you want in life. You will begin to improve yourself. It is in this phase that you will accept yourself as who you are. It is after you accept your deficiencies that you can do something to change them. That was taking care of your inner self. You also need to work on your body. This means taking care of your health and making sure you are always in your best shape. Start exercising, eat healthy, and use products to maintain good hair and skin. Moreover, ensure that you always smell good. 5. Be authentic. Once you know your values, don't be ashamed to live by them. It's not just about knowing yourself. To be authentic, you have to show yourself. You know where you want to put your energy. Being authentic helps us determine our journey in life. It helps you think about what kind of relationships and events you want to be involved in. Focusing on your authenticity will help you see more clearly what you do and don't do in life. The further you go on your journey of authenticity, the more comfortable you will become at saying no to people and events that have nothing to do with you. So I can use my energy in the right places. A place where you are strong and where your personality shines. Volunteer to help others. Strong men, women always try to help others. 
They voluntarily offer help when needed. Not to look good in the eyes of others. They do it because it makes them feel better. Helping people makes you stronger. Don't be afraid to sacrifice your own desires for the needs of others. Whether it's a small thing or a big thing, if you reach out, people will respect you. That's all for now see you in the next video.